without you Hello everyone, this is Pastor Bruce Edwards with your two-minute breakthrough word, how to be right with God. Now this is a huge deal, yet most people get it wrong. Most think God judges our righteousness based on our actions, what we do or what we don't do. Now while what we do is important and there are consequences to our actions, they have nothing to do with being right with God. The only way, let me say it again, the only way to be right with God is by putting your faith and trust in Jesus and in, and in Him alone. That's it. Faith plus anything else is an assault on the doctrine of salvation. Righteousness is a gift. Romans 5, 17 tells us, It was the sin of one man, Adam, that caused death. That is spiritual death, which means separation from God, to rule over many. But even greater is God's wonderful grace and His gift. Did you hear that? And His gift. His gift of what? Of righteousness. When we put our faith in Jesus, He gives us His righteousness as a gift and takes our sin. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For our sake God made Jesus to be sin for us. He who never sinned. Why? So that in Him we could overcome or we could become the righteousness of God. What a gift. We, we become right with God not because of what we've done, not because we've earned it or deserve it, but because of what Jesus has done and our faith in that. Galatians, Galatians 2.16 puts it this way. We know that a person is made right with God by faith in Jesus, not by obeying the law, not by our actions. For no one will ever, ever be made right with God by obeying the law, by their actions by their actions. The moment we try to be right with God based on what we do, we're put under a curse. That's what Galatians 3.10 says. I don't know about you, I'm not wanting to be under any kind of curse. The way to avoid that curse and to be right with God is by putting your full trust in Jesus. It's by grace through faith that we're made right with God. Those who fail to understand this truth become frustrated, always trying to establish their own righteousness, always falling short and ending up filled with guilt and condemnation. Don't let that be you. Listen, if you put your faith in Jesus, you are righteous. Don't let the devil or anyone else try to tell you anything different. You are a child of God. That's your two-minute breakthrough word. Until the next time, remember, God has a breakthrough for you. Be blessed. I need to stay